I have the magic solution for you guys for everybody asking about what lot size they should trade, how many pips stop loss, how many points stop loss, all of those manual calculations that you make to enter your trade, making you get into your trade a little bit later that you want. I, I literally, I got, I got the solution for you guys. It's super easy, it's mindless, it's brainless, just, yeah. <laughs> Welcome back to the channel, everybody. My name's Artie, and this is The Moving Average, a show where we discuss everything day trading to keep you profitable. This is going to be a two-minute video, so let's get right into the charts. Okay, this was made by our team. This is called the TTF Risk Calculator. It is a plugin that you put into your MT4 or MT5 desktop application. It does not work on mobile. So easy to use. I'm going to show you this. So right here, we have the risk percentage. It shows you the cash risk of that risk percentage, and you get to choose your risk to reward ratio. So for example, right now, my account balance is $52,322. So if I risk 1% right now, it will be a risk of $523.22. Let's say that I want a one to two risk to reward ratio. So I can set it up like that. I have two, I have one right here. And all you need to do is click buy or sell, and then you can adjust your stop loss and it will automatically adjust your take profit. So for example, if I sell right now, you will see a line pop up right here. You double click that and you'll get this tiny little dot right here showing you that you can actually adjust it and you can slide it down and make your stop loss as tight as you want. When you do that, you can see that your take profit line moves in accordance with that. So right now, if I enter this trade, this will be my stop loss and the system will automatically calculate what your lot size is to risk 1% for that stop loss to be 1% and this is going to be 2% take profit. Everything's done automatically. You don't have to sit there and calculate, all right, I have a $100,000 account, I wanna risk 1%, that's $1,000, my stop loss is 39 points, so if I calculate uh, one, it's not necessary anymore. All you do is click a button and then once your stop loss is set, all you gotta do is click send order. Only when you're ready to send the order will it execute the order and your stop loss and your take profit will be in place. So you'll never enter a trade ever without having a stop loss just in case the second that you enter a trade, it goes against you and it just completely wipes out your entire account. I know so many people get into a trade and they just, they're like, oh, I'm gonna get into a trade and then once it starts running, then I'll adjust my stop loss and take profit. But within that short time frame, it could be a news event and you get completely screwed and you lose 20 grand. The market is about to open, so I will see if I can get into a trade. I'm not getting any setups for a three line strike right now, so I might have to counter trend trade on this. We will see. All right, I'm gonna get into a long position right here because I think the trend is gonna continue up. Let us just set our stop loss right here at that wick and send the order. This is your entry price with your spread. This is now your stop loss. And this is your take profit, which works for me because looking left right there, that's also looking to be like a 618 retracement. So I think the price is gonna go up there. As you can see here now, uh, open position. Let me scoot that up. Boom, so price entry. Here's your stop loss, here's your take profit and it shows your commissions and if you're in profit or not. Lot size automatically calculated to 0.67 instead of you having to do it manually. You can also click and drag your stop loss to wherever you like it. I'm gonna leave it where it is. And just like with any trade, you can close it if you're in profit, if you're seeing some price action reversal patterns or you can just let it ride out. Um, sometimes a good rule of thumb is moving your stop loss to break even once it hits, you know, 50% of your profit target. That way it's a risk-free trade. If you're getting momentum, if you're getting big juicy candles like that, it's, you know, it's a good idea. 
All right, so we just got a three-line strike in the opposite direction on a one-minute chart. I'm not liking that, but I honestly think it's going to creep up a little bit more. I like this price target, so I'm going to let it sit, but I am going to move my stop loss a little bit to right there. That way, I'm risking less money. It's about half the amount that I risked before, so instead of losing 500, I'll lose like 300. So it's looking like we're getting a three line strike in the up direction, which is nice. Um, this long wick plus an engulfing candle makes me feel good. If you guys don't know how I normally do my analysis, like, you know, broken trend line and then, you know, new trend. So this is your new trend, um, short term trend, but hopefully it'll hit that price target. We'll just keep waiting and seeing. I am, however, going to move my stop loss to just above break even because I don't like losing money. Right now, I'm just over 1% in profit. So I don't know if this thing doesn't want to move relatively quickly soon, I might close out early. All right, so price is about to close below this trend line. If this candle closes down, then I'm going to close my trade early. But hopefully it shoots right back up. This is why I don't like counter trend trading because the overall price action is going down. And I was just trying to get to a fib level. <laughs> Jesus, that got so close to my stop loss. I should probably just close it. Let's just hope for the best. You can also adjust your take profit level to something a little bit more comfortable. Like right there, if it does go up to that trend line and reject it and then continue down, then I'm good to go. I absolutely hate when price is consolidating. You'd think 27 minutes after market open, it would move. And stop loss hit, but I made a profit of 51.59 because I chose to move my stop loss into profit instead of the trade going against me and losing the $500. But that's how trading works. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. But either way, you should always try to walk away with a little bit of money. I just paid for lunch for the day. Anyway, when you sign up for the Trading Floor membership, it's a monthly membership. It's super cheap. It's 20 GBP per month. You get this risk calculator along with a bunch of other stuff, lots of tutorial videos, as well as the Discord community. And if you decide to cancel thereafter, you get to keep the risk calculator as a parting gift. And normally risk calculators are anywhere from $40 to $150. So my opinion, it's super worth it. Plus you got a little bit of a inside scoop of how I trade. If you guys want to learn more about trading, check out this intermediate playlist right here. If you guys enjoyed this type of content, make sure you're smashing the like button and subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Just so that you guys can see, um, if I would have kept my stop loss originally where it was at, which was right about this level, it would have hit my take profit. But again, I don't like losing money, so I kept moving my stop loss into profit. I still made 50 bucks, which is fine with me.